everybody. Our world is so connected. It's our shared home, which is why I always try to use my voice and platform to speak up about the climate crisis and how it affects all of us. And I know everyone here does their best to do that too. Um, in doing so, I've met some extraordinary people, <laughs> uh, like this incredible young woman I'm sharing the stage with today. Thank you, Natasha. It's a great honor to share the stage with you today. And I'm so excited that we get to present this award to my friend and fellow climate activist, Ineza Umhoza Grace. Last year, I named her as one of the young climate activists to watch. And as we stand here tonight to present her with the Global Citizen Award for the work that she does in climate justice, I only have one word to say to her. I told you so. Onwards and upwards. Uh, she is an eco-feminist who is leading over 600 youth in over 60 countries to take action and to demand funding to address loss and damage as the result of climate change. Let's hear her story. Hello, my name is Inesa. I describe myself as an eco-feminist. Growing up, I do have a memory of being woken up in the middle of the night by my mom because our house was being destroyed by intensive rainfall associated with wind. Women and children were forced to move from one area to another because of flooding and erosion. And I started to really think on what can be my contribution and what can I, uh, what can I bring in terms of uh, having a tangible solution. Because to face it is easy to play a victim and pretty much harder to be um, on this on the design solution part. In 2020, that's when we started Loss and Damage Youth Coalition, which is a coalition of more than 600 members from more than 64 countries. Part of the thing that we do is holding leaders accountable. It is time for our political leaders to address the need of vulnerable community already facing climate impact. It is a matter of urgency and justice. If we all throw our hands up and don't do anything, we're going to be doomed very sooner. But if we decide to really take um, small action on a daily basis, we are going to be able to create tangible hope for the younger generation. When I, I grow up, I want to be like her because she's she just so sh special because everything she does is because of her dreams. Youth are no longer willing to only speak or like hold banners on the road. Trust us and give us the, the go ahead because we really know how to do it. Please join me in congratulating the 2023 Citizen Award recipient and my friend Ineza Umhoza Grace. Good evening. Where I come from, we say Murahoneza. The world is a wonderful place. I'm grateful to be alive and for the education I have received from my mom and the value and the honor of being a Rwandan. Rwanda gives an active recognition of youth, women, community leaders uh, in taking climate action in the uh, so diplomacy which permits me to stand here today as an African voice to receive the Global Citizen Prize. Climate injustice, especially the concept of loss and damage, is a complex topic, but I can explain it simply enough. Imagine someone struggling to stay afloat, drowning in deep water. Would, would you find a way to help them immediately, or would you stand uh, promising to go, um, promising to, uh, oh, sorry, uh, would you stand there to uh, watch her or him dr drowning and promising to have a rescue team coming over without knowing whether it's going to come or when it's going to arrive? Developing countries were and are still drowning 
drowning right now, and they have been pushed into deep water by developed ones, who also have the power to pull them out of the trouble. As a climate diplomacy advocate and co-founder of a global coalition, I am one of the many voices of youth aiming to hold world leaders account for their climate commitment by take, taking concrete action today, addressing the negative impact of climate change. My work is about raising the voice of the decision-making power of the frontline community who have the answers and needs to be scared. We need loss and damage finance to be new, additional, accessible, and adequate to address the climate crisis. This is neither a charity or a business opportunity. Acting to address climate crisis should not be treated as a political issue. It's a matter of us standing all together in global solidarity and responding and respecting to the statement, leave no one behind. Thank you very much for the recognition. I hope you will join us in standing together for the future of our planet and the people. Thank you so much, Marcos.